Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video we're going to react to the 10 worst prisons in the USA. Now I think the USA has quite a lot of prisons, you know, I think each state is probably going to have at least what, two? At least two per state? So that would mean there's like a hundred prisons, that's not including the jails as well, so yeah, there's going to be loads of bad prisons. And I, there's a few that I've heard of, like San Quentin, I've heard is really bad. In That's in California. Um, Rikers Island, I don't know if that's a prison or a jail, but I've heard that's really bad. Uh, Red Onion, the, uh, the, the Supermax prison in Florence, uh, Colorado. I've heard that is absolutely hellish to be at. So yeah, this video is going to be quite interesting. Not that, you know any like i or any of you guys want to go to prison but i find i find this stuff quite interesting i don't know why man it's huge what is going on everyone who wants to know about the worst places to be a dumb criminal i know i do all of us do stupid things on a daily basis some of us do extremely stupid things that lead to prison sentences the united states has more incarcerated citizens than any other country in the world followed by china brazil and russia at least that's what's believed other countries may have more but their calculations may be a little less accurate than ours the country with the, the u.s has the most prisoners What's going on? Like, do you think your penalties are too harsh or like, yeah, I'm surprised by that. Least amount of citizens in jail is San Marino with three. That's right. They've only got three dudes in jail right now. Wow. San Marino's right here. It is an enclaved micro state inside Italy. See, it's surrounded by Italy. I don't know, but really, should you be a country if most of the citizens know the entire prison population by their first name? It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, the United States has a bunch of prisons to choose from, and that's what today's list is all about, the worst prisons. So here's my top 10 worst prisons in the United States. Let's go. Number 10, the United States Penitentiary, Marion, Illinois. This U.S. penitentiary was the nation's highest security prison for about 15 years. Opening in 1963, some of the first guests were transfers from Alcatraz, which was closed down the same year. Serious violence forced this place into a long-term lockdown, and it's one of the only two facilities in the nation that has a communications management unit. This is where you send people that don't need unchecked communication to the rest of the world. They have a bunch of terrorists, obviously, you don't want them talking to their people, and mafia types like John Gotti, the types that you don't want talking to their shady associates they also hold on so they he they they have no contact with the outside world at all god that's got to be horrible but pete rose in there i guess they didn't want him to place any more bets on anyone that one was weird yikes Number nine, Men's Central Jail and Twin Towers Correctional Facility, Los Angeles, California. This is where you end up if you make some really bad choices in Los Angeles. This place is always overcrowded. According to investigative reports, beatings are frequent with guards often standing by as inmates are assaulted by other inmates. Isn't that nice? It's like a big party. Most celebrities that have ever been arrested in Los Angeles pass through this building, including Paris Hilton, OJ Simpson, and of course from the Jackass series, Steve-O. I mean that that the location looked quite interesting. It looked like it was quite in a busy area, like because usually prisons are like way in the middle of nowhere. That looked like it was downtown. Number eight, Attica Correctional Facility, Attica, New York. This notorious facility often houses inmates who are removed from other facilities because they don't play well with others. This barbed wire resort hosts many of the most dangerous criminals in the world. It is more famous for its 1971 riot that led to the deaths of 39 people, including 10 civilians. One officer actually died at the hands of rioting convicts in the riot's early stages. The rest died by gunfire when state troopers and other retired officers retook the prison. Past and present guests include David Berkowitz, who was the son of Sam serial killer, Mark David Chapman, the D-bag who killed John Lennon, and Colin Ferguson. If you don't know who he is, he's just weird. This dude shot up a subway train in the mid-90s and decided to defend himself in court. He tried to actually call then-president Bill Clinton and, of course, Hall of Fame quarterback John Elway. Guy was just nuts. <laughs> 
Number seven, Polunsky, Livingston, Texas. Are you looking for some alone time? Do you really want to live off the grid? This all-solitary unit houses inmates under some of the most strict death row conditions. Convicts get a whole bunch of alone time in their single cells. 22 hours a day to be exact. Many of the inmates have been reported to suffer from various psychological disorders. I mean, other disorders than what they had when they did whatever they did to land themselves here. They're going crazy in these cells. 22 hours a day lockdown. That's crazy, man. You know, not that I've got sympathy for these guys because they've obviously done something to, to warrant them being there. But if they if you plan on letting them out at some point, if you plan on releasing them, then surely putting them in lockdown for that long, you're not rehabilitating them, are you? You're making them worse. Number six, Idaho Correctional Center, Kuna, Idaho. With its combination of gang violence and severe understaffing, Idaho Correctional Center has been labeled as a gladiator school. According to a 2010 lawsuit, the violence is condoned and even promoted by prison staff. Ooh, promoted? sounds fun. This is the type of place you don't want to escape from. Sure, it's bad inside, but let's say you do get outside the wall, you're in Idaho. This is the land of NRA card-carrying members and retired cops that are perfectly willing to join an old-school posse to hunt you down Boy. in the Idaho outback. Yikes. Yikes. So if you do manage to escape, you better hope that you've got somebody waiting with a car that you can get in there because, man, they, they're going to get you. Number five, Holman Correctional Facility, Escambia County, Alabama. With its frequent stabbings and violent attacks between prisoners, this prison has earned names like the Slaughterhouse and the House of Pain. Some years back, they discovered Viagra had been smuggled into Holman. Yeah. No thanks. Why? When you read headlines like that, it oh. makes you want to change your plans about knocking off a Piggly Wiggly down the road. And for those of you on the West Coast, a Piggly Wiggly is a supermarket chain in the South, for the most part. Yeah, there's no reason to have Viagra in prison. That's scary. Stabbings and beatings, that's bad. But when you got a bunch of men locked up and there's Viagra floating around, it's not good. Mm. <laughs> Honestly. Number four, Louisiana State Penitentiary, Angola, Louisiana. The Louisiana State Penitentiary is known as the Alcatraz of the South. Also, it's known as the Farm. This is the largest maximum security prison in the country, with an inmate population of 5,000. The facility is known for its widespread violence and inmate abuse. Whatever bad thing you can imagine happening in prison, it'll happen in Angola. There's a reason documentaries and movies have been made about this place. It's known for its lack of sunlight in the cells and stifling heat in the summers. It's not a pleasant place to be. But the good news is you have about 5,000 friends to hang out with and, you know, get to know each other and enjoy your time. Gosh, I just, you know, imagine, you know, being put in prison for years. It's like any, 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 like if anyone's watching this that's been in prison for over a year, let me know what it was like, you know. Like, what did you guys do? What did you do day to day? Read, um, take classes. Like, what did you fill your time with? Because other than that, and I think uh, there's certain jobs you can do in prison to earn a bit of money. You've got a lot of time to, to, to kill, haven't you? Number three, Pelican Bay State Prison, Crescent City, California. Let's say you make one of the biggest errors in judgment in California and you get caught. And trust me, it's hard to lead the pack in judgment errors in California. There's a lot of competition out there. In the Golden State, if you're one of the biggest violent mistake makers, you end up in Pelican Bay. I know. I know it sounds like a brand of rum, but Pelican Bay is in fact a prison. It is a prison ravaged by gang activities. Many assaults here are aimed towards staff and even prosecutors. They don't just stop at the people around them. They go after the people that may have had something to do with putting them there. It's weird. Number two, Rikers Island. Queens, New York. As one of the country's most famous correctional facilities, Rikers Island has a reputation for all kinds of violence between prisoners and towards guards. One famous incident back in the mid-2000s, the guards actually watched an inmate be assaulted and did nothing. They just kind of watched it and enjoyed it. That always gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling when the people getting paid to maintain order decide to take a breather and let things work themselves out. Famous inmates include Tupac Shakur, Plexico Burris, Lil Wayne, and was always a landing place for people on The Sopranos. Yeah, I've heard some horrific stories about Rikers Island. Horrific. I think they're trying to close it down, haven't? Aren't they? 
they're either trying to close it down or it's scheduled to close down in the next few years just because of the amount of assaults and things like that that happen there. San Quentin. And number one, San Quentin State Prison, Northern California. Sitting on some real estate worth hundreds of millions, I'm sure, on the shores of the San Francisco Bay, you have San Quentin. This place hosts the largest death row population in the United States. This prison always seems to be in the news. Growing up in California, it seemed like every single week something terrible happened at San Quentin. This is the final destination for a lot of its guests. Charles Manson and Scott Peterson, who killed his wife, all served time here. All right, so that's my top 10 worst Crazy. prisons in the United States. Hope yeah, that was uh, very, very interesting. It just made me think, you know, like when the realization hits you that you're going to be in this cell for the next five, 10 years, like any time period over like a year, you know, maybe, maybe more. Let's say any time period over like two years where you can't visibly see the end date. It's so far away just the despair that must you must be filled with just that feeling of like why did i do what i did for some people it's going to hit them earlier than others like some people i, I guess you know it, 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 it maybe it doesn't ever sink in that they that they're stuck in a tiny cell now you know for the foreseeable future it's got to be awful but one thing i do think we need to do with our prisons is maybe focus more on rehabilitation because Unless the person has gone away for life, you know, you're going to let them out into the public at some point. And if you don't equip these people with the skills needed to be a functional member of society, they're just going to come out and reoffend. They're just going to come out and commit more crimes. So I think maybe we need to focus more on rehab just because, yeah, I was shocked at the amount of prison people in prison in the States. To think that America, a country with a population of about 300 million, has more people in prison than China. You know, their population's five times that of America. Really, really surprising. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.